All right, fifth grade lesson six, adding whole numbers. Make sure you label a new page in your notebook. And then what I want you to do is write down these words in blue here. Those are uh, like vocabulary words. So write those down in your notebook. You have add-ins, you have sum, you have commutative property of addition, okay? If you wanna write them in a different color, that's fine too. And I'm gonna reveal the definition for these. So add-ins are the numbers that are added together. Those are add-ins. All right, this, so numbers that are added together. So if we had two plus two, or two plus three, these two numbers are the add-ins, right? Sum is the answer to an addition problem. So two plus three equals five. Five would be the sum. And then commutative property of addition says five plus six equals six plus five. Um, or basically, you can switch the order of numbers that you add and get the same result. So 2 plus 3 is the same as adding 3 plus 2. Both of them give you 5 as your sum. All right, example number 1. What is the sum of 7, 4, 3, and 6? Go ahead and jot this down in your notebook. You can do this problem on your own. I like to think of these and pair them up to make them easier. So I know seven and three make 10, and I know four and six make 10, which means seven plus four plus three plus six gives me 20. All right, four one digit whole numbers are added. The sum is more or less than 40. How do you know? Well, if it's four one digit whole numbers, the biggest one digit whole number is nine. So if I add nine plus nine plus nine plus nine, or the same as nine times four, I get 36. And so is the sum more than or less than 40? The sum would be less than 40. How do I know? Because the largest one digit number is nine, and if I add those up four times, it's still less than 40. So that means every other four combination of four one-digit numbers would be less than 40. All right, example three. Jamal had $462. Maria paid Jamal $58 in rent. Then how much money did Jamal have? So I have to think. All right, he had that much money. Jamal paid him that much money. So this is an addition problem. So, I hope you remember how to set up an addition problem. You would set up four, six, two, and then make sure you have them lined up, and then you can solve. So if you want, pause the video and go ahead and solve this on your own. See if you get the same answer as I do. Six plus six. So 520. Dollars. All right, here is your lesson practice. It also goes all the way up to N. Okay, so this is good practice for you to uh, add numbers together, all right? Go ahead and you can do this and be prepared next time in class.